Hey, what's up, more royalties? We're back at it again with another reaction video. Uh, this time we're reacting to Dirty Dining, Foul Order, Roaches, and Sewer Issues. That's absolutely disgusting. Why do, this is why I cook a lot of my food. I eat a lot of fish, chicken breasts, broccoli, um, brown rice. I try to eat, you know, as healthy as possible. Of course, I still have my ways. I still get chips. I still get ice creams and things um, every now and then. But I see people going to, like, fast food restaurants two to three times a day. It's just why. I mean, could you imagine, you know, a teenager working, he's just sweating all of your food, or he's picking his nose, and he's touching your food, and I just don't trust it. And especially when I, like, see things like this. Tonight, a dining, you know, dirty dining, foul, order, roaches, and sewer issues. Really? When you look at stuff like this, I'm like, I'm happy that I cook my food all the time, or as much as many times as possible. I mean, that's just absolutely disgusting. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video to see what this is all about. A restaurant allowed to reopen after apparently cleaning up their act, but did they? When we went to get some answers about all of their recent violations, we found some, well, still existed. Local 10 News investigator Jeff Heinz here has tonight's Dirty Dining report. If you heard of the first time, oh, shut it down. Why continue to let this place operate? I don't get it. Shut it down. If you knew there's like sewer, like that have feces in my smoothies. What? That's illegal. Like, why my life got to be at risk for COVID and HIV and all types of diseases? Because people don't know how to keep up with the store. Shut it down. Soon you found out about it, move on. Give these guys second, third chances for them to screw up, to continue to continue to serve people with, you know, contaminated food. Drinks. Absolutely disgusting. Twice here, I'm a television reporter at Local 10 News. Are you in charge of this restaurant? No, my boss is not coming back. Your boss? I think you're the boss. It's not me. He has <laughs> It's not me. Saw him open up the place, and someone at a neighboring business says he is the man. The place, Asahi Chinese Restaurant, it is at 80... You know what that kind of reminds me of the guy, the guy is talking, kind of, kind of like the scene from Rush Hour 3, you know, Chris, Tuck, Chris Tucker, he was like, yes, I am you, and you, you is me. <laughs> it's kind of like, are you the owner? I am not owner, you owner. Like, what? Look, bro, you, we clearly know you cap and making up stuff. He's just trying to deflect the blame. It's just like the guy fresh are trying to deflect the blame. Hilarious. I know, I know I have some royalties. I know I have some royalties in our kingdom know what rush hour is. Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker, part three. When he went to like the karate kung fu place, it was like a big guy and the old, like the old, like the old Asian guy. And he was saying like, I am, yes, I am you and you and me. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. McNabb Road. It's in North Lauderdale. A state inspector recently found like Florida violations here and ordered the place shut. Floor is us, us as Floridians, we go crazy. Ant right there. We do stupid what if stuff. They ever clean this floor? It's disgusting. On top of this, how you guys even get customers to come here? What appears to be breading left in a bin overnight wow. on the floor, and obviously that would attract pests. Remember, we showed up when they first opened for the day, and this is also. After they apparently cleaned up and were allowed to, this is what they considered cleaned up. After the state ordered them shut, this place was dirty, man. No, sir, my boss not here. Yeah, you're the boss. You have the key, no, sir. Sir, you have the key. You're the manager. I, I don't know where key at. Dude, Who are you, key? I I don't know. I I owe I owe this store. What? Come on, bro. Bro, who are you fooling? We know who we know who's operating this man. G get it together. You gonna call your lawyer? Lawyer? Why you lawyer, bro? You call, bro? You you throwing yourself behind bars? Dirty. It was ordered shut by the state. According to the recent inspection, that serving serving doo doo chili. Bro, what? The inspector says there was a sink full of. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you you calling yourself to put yourself behind bars? What? Odor. There was a roach issue, a fly issue. There was a stop sale ordered on raw chicken, ribs, beef, pork tenderloin. All were being stored improperly. They were operating without a license. There was slime on a countertop cutting board. A sewage-like smell coming from a sink that is supposed to be used to clean things. Oh. You ever clean the floor? I mean, look at the store. Like, how, how can somebody come do in you, here thinking that, yo, floor? this is where I want to eat at. No, I'm starving. Don't. This floor, 
Frank, take a look at this. I asked him if he like I've been vomiting all over the place, just coming in, smelling the order, looking at like what? And take a close look at this spot behind the restaurant where used cooking oil is stored. We certainly hope these discarded buckets aren't taken into the restaurant they are. kitchen. We know so it is. Stop saying hopefully. Following an ordered cleanup and reinspection, and frankly, open twenty four seven. How or why? But you now know what's going on inside this restaurant's kitchen. Jeff Weins here, local ten news. And for a well, that's it with this video. The moral of the story: cook your own food. Cook your own food. Why? Why risk it? Why jeopardize your health? Get sick? Do you end up in the hospital? Me, perhaps in this case, dead. Don't do it. Just cook your food. It's all right every now and then. Go out, but for the most part, cook. Cook healthy food. Boroties, that's it. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And until next time, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.